Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Osterberg501, and today I want to continue my series looking at all of the glitches that still work after the most recent patch in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. And in this video, we're going to be looking at the infinite gold glitch. Now, you're going to need two things for this glitch to work. You're going to have to make Spellshot your primary or secondary class because you need the polymorph ability, and then you are going to need the goblin pickaxe legendary melee weapon. Now to get the goblin pickaxe you can go do the ancient obelisk in Mount Craw or you can just farm your chaos chambers and use all of your shards for the melee weapon rabbit at the end. You shouldn't have too big of an issue doing either one of those and getting yourself any goblin pickaxe. It doesn't matter the stats, doesn't matter the rules. All you're going to need it for is its special ability. Now the special ability for the goblin pickaxe is that anytime you melee an enemy you spawn a chunk of gold and if you want more gold and the main way you would get more gold is increasing your chaos level which will give you 140 percent increased gold at chaos level 35 which is the max and then the first shrine buff in the overworld will give you a 10 percent gold gain increase as well and those are the only ways you can go about increasing gold to my knowledge i think there is also an enchant you can get but that's not really going to be that big of a deal now to start off this glitch you're going to need to find any of the land shark enemies that jump into the ground and swim around and their fin is still sticking out so they can still take damage if you shoot them when they're swimming around in the ground. I just go to the drowned abyss. You can find a lot of them there and all you're going to do is you're going to wait for them to jump into the ground and start swimming around. Then you're going to use your polymorph ability while they're swimming around in the ground and this is still going to pull them onto the ground and polymorph them in air like normal. Then you're going to need to kill this enemy while it's polymorph. If you kill it after the polymorph is over this won't work and essentially what's going to happen is when you kill it when polymorphed it's going to consider an enemy to still be alive at the location that enemy died and you can even see it on the mini map that there is still a red dot there and at this point, you can go and infinitely hit either the model of the enemy you killed or that red dot on your minimap. And every time you hit it, you will spawn gold from your goblin pickaxe because it's still considering this enemy to be alive. Now, something else with this is that if that body gets launched away from where it died, that red mark will still stay in the same spot and there will essentially just be a hit detection spot that you can just hit with the pickaxe and keep getting money procs but the money still spawns out of the enemy's model itself you'll see in the video what i'm talking about it's kind of weird so just to make it easier when you do the glitch and kill the enemy just follow wherever that enemy's corpse goes and just spam hit it with your goblin pickaxe it's going to keep spawning money every time you hit it and that is an infinite gold farm glitch you can get a ridiculous amount of gold doing this especially with having chaos level 35 now you can get a lot more gold than you were able to back when we only had chaos level 20. Now you can also fully AFK do this because if you're on PC and you use the base keybind for melee, which is V, you can actually just hold down this button and it will continuously melee. So what I did to farm a bunch of gold is I did this glitch, park my character right next to the enemy's corpse and just put a stack of coins on my V key and I was pretty much fully automating a gold farm so I could max out all of my SDUs. You should be able to do that on consoles as well. Just find whatever button is a melee button and like wrap a rubber band around it or something like that and you should be able to do the exact same thing and afk gold farm pretty easily and the corpses i think stay there for around a half an hour so you can afk gold farm for like a half an hour and then just find another land shark and do it again so pretty easy to almost fully afk so it's pretty much all you're going to need to do for this infinite gold farm glitch so subscribe if you want to see more wonderlands or other videos and leave a like if you liked the video leave a comment down below what you guys think about this glitch and thanks for watching.